Hello and welcome to another quick play and review of Castlevania ROM Hacks. This is Castlevania Fan Edition by Thaddeus, made in 2005. Let's get started. Now, because this was made in 2005, a lot of the assets that we're going to see are just from Castlevania 2 and Castlevania 3. You can kind of think of this as a Castlevania 1 kind of reskinning, um, and it really does look quite good with the updated graphics. Um, as far as the gameplay goes, there aren't really any sub-weapons in level 1, so we're going to grab a random item off of the zombie. And one really cool thing about the core mechanics here is that we're just going to be getting the triple shot right away. And what that really means is we can switch between sub-weapons whenever we feel like, which is a nice- OH MY GOD WHY IS THERE A GIANT BAT IN LEVEL 1? WHY ARE THERE TWO GIANT BATS IN LEVEL 1? Well, this, uh, <laughs> this hack isn't exactly a Kaizo, but uh, Thaddeus definitely had fun with the player. And luckily this is level 1, so these bats are only doing 2 damage a pip, so they're not really that big of a deal. Now, there's something strange about these zombies that are coming up, so they're walking forward, and now they're walking behind you, so these aren't actually the same zombies as the first screen, they are actually great armors in disguise, and they have 2 pips of health, which definitely got me the first time, and oh my, that zombie, uh, the first time that zombie just gets you, every time. <laughs> So, little jump scares. Uh, this is, there's a lot of things that Thaddeus tries with this ROM hack. Some are pretty cheeky, but all for, for good fun. Definitely a fan addition. And now we have the stopwatch, so this, this real giant bat, which is our first boss. Well, he goes down pretty quick. So Thaddeus tried a lot of things in level 1, and some are fun, some are would just scare a player off from from this ROM hack right away, but it's it's mostly for good fun. Alrighty, so moving into level 2, we're going to be grabbing this cross right, right away, and uh, that's in the same spot as it is in Castlevania 1. So we can really see that there's going to be a lot of similarities, besides like the backgrounds, which are kind of a reskinning, a lot of the level design looks the same, with some enemies in different positions. So... We got our, our triple cross now, um, and we're just gonna keep on popping on through. So for this particular screen, um, you could go all the way to the left, and you can find some goodies there, but there really isn't much going on. Just going up the stairs is kind of the way to go. So there's quite a few dead ends in this ROM hack as well, and uh, not a big fan of that. There's some other pa ROM hacks like Castlevania Reborn, which ha really does have branching paths, and and that's, you know, that's nice. <laughs> but for 2005, we, we can let that slide. So moving on to the Crusher Room. There is a big meat in this block right below. I'm just gonna show, just showing that off. That's, you know, it's there. It's, it's hiding. It's gone. And now we're ready to actually take on these Crushers, which are a little bit easier uh, just because of the way that the platform are here. Now there's a ghost that comes in from the right, but if you go all the way to the left, that ghost is just going to despawn, and uh, ready to go up the stairs. Climbing to the next screen, this is really the only speedrun strat that I was able to find, which is to take this Medusa, boost it up through the ceiling, and uh, we have to skip that whole side, right side of the screen. Now you might be thinking, well it must be Medusa for level 2 boss, but no, it's just another giant bat, and that's kind of a letdown. Um, while this area is more difficult than for the first level, um, we, there's a little bit of a strat that if you are stuck in a block and you get hit, you kind of get pushed out and you don't take any knockback. So we were able to use that to get through the giant bat pretty quickly. Alrighty, so we are moving on into level 3, which is notoriously difficult in, you know, in Castlevania 1. But there really isn't anything here in the first screen, and there are a couple of screens in this ROM hack uh, which are of, devoid of any enemies. <laughs> so, it looks really pretty. The Castlevania, th you know, reskinning with Castlevania 3 uh, graphics looks really good, except for that potion, but that's a random item drop, so we're not going to worry about that one <laughs> too much. So, we're grabbing as many hearts as we can um, in this level. You can see some of these birds are kind of pesky, but not really that big of a deal. They're mostly in the same position as in Castlevania 1. And a lot of this can the candle positions as well as the uh, 
handle what's actually within the candles is the same as well. So really, this third level is more of a reskin than anything else. But I think it still looks quite good. Just waiting for that skeleton to drop. And uh, we'll be climbing to the next screen. And uh... this bird is kind of difficult to handle. I feel like the bird's a lot closer um, to the stairs than just the particular one. Pits are generally in the same places. We're gonna have two birds coming up. Once again, this is pretty similar. If you notice, the birds, uh, when they appear on screen, they actually do follow the same pattern. So if you can see what one bird's doing, you know what the other bird's gonna be doing as well. And we're moving on to the last screen here. So all of this is, you know, pretty similar to just vanilla Castlevania. But it still looks nice and still works. Couple more pits, I think. And you can see just like adding one pit to one location really changes up the uh, dynamic of the level. Like adding those blocks there makes it so that you can't actually just jump right away into the bone pillar and remove the, uh, the fireball as well. Now, all right, we're in level three. So maybe we we're gonna be facing Medusa here, considering that we didn't see Medusa yet. Or maybe we'll be dealing with the mummies. But no, it's death. <laughs> it's death. <laughs> um, but luckily the, the triple cross really does finish him off quite quickly. <laughs> but if you don't know it's coming, it, it's, it's a really big surprise. And I, I think this really has nice, like, first try kind of a wow factor. Okay, so we're moving into level four, and, um, well, what's to say about level four? There's nothing here on the first screen. Kinda spooky. Kinda spooky. Like, I, I'd be surprised if an enemy, like, popped out on you at some point, but nope, there's just nothing here. I even tried to take a look for any random items in this room. Nope. Here. Very spooky, very spooky. But if we're move, as we're, we're moving into this screen, yep, the giant backs—they're back in full force. And these, you really need to take out. Now they're doing more damage, and with pits in the way, they—they gotta be taken out. But there aren't a lot of places to grab hearts, so you kind of want to try to conserve them as much as possible. And there's no different sub weapons, so if you don't have a sub weapon from the previous level, that's going to make this level quite difficult, especially what's about to come next. Last screen now for this level. We're going to see a couple more bats coming up, but there's a couple of places to grab some hearts. Definitely going to grab those for sure. Trying to use the whip here to conserve. You know that there's that meat there help out. You know, a little bit extra damage, more than I would have liked. And that bat, yep, it's back. It respawned. But luckily this one's decided to be a little bit more docile than the last. And which boss are we going to be seeing here in level 4? We already saw death. So is this going to be a 4 level ROM hack? Well, here's Drac. And without too many hearts and no real manipulation, this is just going to be a long fight. So Dracula can either appear on top of you or about five blocks away from you. So just doing a little bit of a pause, walk forward. We're going to be doing this for a very long time. So if the ROM hack finished right here, I would call this one a pretty kind of fun ROM hack, but there's actually a little bit more to go. So fighting Dracula here, well, a little bit questionable. Um, and uh, because this is in 2005, no one's really been delving into too much as far as new boss styles and that kind of thing. So we're just going to be taking Dracula out, and then we're, we're keeping these crosses for the Cookie Monster. Or Drac Form 2. <laughs> People of the three A Dragon community just call him Cookie Monster because that's just what he looks like. 
All right, a couple more well-placed crosses, a couple more whips, some lovely back whip action. That's a same frame jump and whip combo. All right, so moving now into level five. Now that we've defeated Dracula, well, there, how much more is there to do? Well, still quite a bit. There's still two levels of play. Now, we get some more graphics from Castlevania 3 in the background. Still looks great. Uh, some different changes here. There's a dagger there if you go to the left. But, you know, I decided I wanted a random item. And uh, I thought the dagger would be better than the cross. At least for this level. So, kind of unlucky. <laughs> with with the it random item roll. And uh, going upstairs and using the sub weapon at the t same time is pretty difficult. You have to do it at the same frame. So, got some extra meat here as well. Generally, this level 5, while more difficult, is is also quite fair until we make it to the next screen. But until then, uh, since the weapons and, and et cetera, et cetera, are mostly the same as in Castlevania 1, we're going to be grabbing the axe. And, uh, you know, the axe actually does do some real a really good job here dealing with this uh, next section, which I'm a big fan of. So we have pits. And we have eagles. And you can see how well the axe is actually doing its job here. Since the, the way that the platforms are, you're actually below these uh, eagles a lot of the time. So the axe really is putting in the work, which, is, which was a little bit surprising. Um, as I wanted to really keep the cross to this point. Now, this guy... This axe knight, he's kind of chilling in midair. I don't know if he's on the mountain. Well, now he's no longer king of the hill in any case. But, so going on through with full health here. Uh, kind of surprising. Just because of that axe. That axe just did so much good work. Just trying to grab a couple more hearts uh, for the boss. But there's really nothing on this side of the screen either. Which was a little bit disappointing. Now, who's going to be the boss for level 5? Who's next? I, I mean, the mu the mummies and the Medusa are still fair game. And maybe we'll be fighting two Draculas at once. I don't know what Thaddeus was thinking here. And now, because we have the axe, I thought, well, maybe that candle had some... These candles had some nice good goodies. But no, they're just regular candles. Oh, no, it's Medusa. And there's these nice platforms. So dealing with the snakes is quite easy. Yep, it's just Medusa. So if you brought your stopwatch, we could have just put her in some lock. But the, the axe is fine. So level 5 wasn't that difficult in the end. So the difficulty factor is all over the place for this drop match. <laughs> okay, so moving into the last level. What? Do we have left to go? I've got a lovely uh, color swap. With once again, this looks exactly like the, the ending of Castlevania Three, and uh, got that triple cross. So now we're good to go. There's also a place to grab the stopwatch here if you'd like, uh, but the cross is going to be a little bit better for uh, the end boss, which is. Dracula, and, well, we're just going to have to wait and find out. No sound effect there. It's been removed. Generally, level 6 is also quite easy. Um, we have one Axe Knight here, but it, if you get hit on the stairs, unlike Castlevania 2, you don't get knocked off. So... Just gotta take it in stride. There's no other enemies, it's just one Axe Knight. That's something that you'd, you'd think you'd see in a previous level. Not level 6, which is supposedly a little bit more difficult. That's a nice, um, spiral, a nice spiral staircase going on there. Another Axe Armor. 
And now we're here it's a little bit difficult, more difficult, because we have these lovely skeletons at the top. I'm trying to move to the right, to the left to kind of despawn them, but they just don't want to be de despawned. So we're gonna take those out first. Maybe, maybe. It's really trying not to get hit, hit here. No, I'll get, but but I get hit anyways, and and because of the way that the, the respawning happens, it's just that's just how it goes. Going back down the stairs, just gonna grab the meat. Since, you know, Dracula's coming up and all. And you could go to the right here, but there's really nothing there again. There's a lot of places where there's just nothing going on. And we're in the last room. So what is going to be accompanying Dracula this lovely night? Well... It's gonna be... Yep, you named it. Probably. A couple more bats. <laughs> so we're just going to use the cross, take them out. Three crosses is enough. For six hits. Just stagger, 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 stagger. Moving forward. Wait for them to come down. Throw a couple more crosses. Yep, yep, yep. And here we go. So what is the giant bat count for this ROM hack? We had three in level one. A four in level one because of the boss. We had one in level two. In uh, level four, we had, I think, three spawns, maybe four. That's going to bring us our total up to nine. And we have about three more giant bats here. Uh, that brings up to 12 giant bats <laughs> in total. All right, so we just have Dracula here. Just using the cross to try to get some additional damage on phase one. Now that we have the uh, triple uh, holy water... Um, Dracula 2 is going to be much easier. We're just going to be able to stun lock him in place. And uh, he's just going to go down. So what's, so how do we feel about uh, this this ROM hack that Thaddeus has made in 2005? I gotta say, like, this is something that you give to your friend to, to try out once. And, uh, you know, they'll be surprised, you know, every time, like, for every boss encounter, they're just going to be like, wait, what's coming next? And... You know, after you get after that that wow factor, you know, the levels are all over the place as far as difficulty. The backgrounds look really nice, considering, you know, only CB2 and CB3 uh, graphic changes. I think there's a lot of nice ideas that Thaddeus has done uh, with this ROM hack, generally speaking. And for those who don't know, Thaddeus did a lot of the rescanning patches for Castlevania Dracula X, adding that evil Trevor... Um, an unknown hero, those types of things. So Thaddeus is definitely, you know, one of the fans <laughs> of Castlevania, for sure. Um, especially in this early era where there weren't as many tools for ROM hacking this game as there are today. So really happy to see what Thaddeus has done with this ROM hack and with, you know, Castlevania as, the ho as a whole um, and so on. So, if you liked this uh, playthrough of Castlevania Fan Edition, do like this video uh, and subscribe to the channel as that really helps uh, the channel grow. And uh, we'll be back with another Castlevania ROM hack review probably sometime next week. Alright, thank you all.